I used to get angry because I thought my government wasn't listening to me. Now I'm angry because I know they are. That's it. That's that, that, that. that's the entirety of the opening. Welcome, Ronnie Nerds and Gamers. My name is Drummy. And I'm Don. This is Republic Remastered. Uh, remastered as in this was the uh, iOS game at one point. Yeah, we do have a frame rate cap to 60. It's just we're running 22 frames per second at the moment. 30, whatever. I, I think it's just because you're in the menu. Probably. This is a um, this is a game that joins the like of Outlast and Evil Within and um, not PT, but I guess you, PT might come in that area. Point is, it joins a uh, a group of games where a bunch of people from a studio that were well known for making something awesome branched out and made something else, like Guild Wars. Yeah. The people from World of Warcraft branched out, made their own studio, and made Guild Wars. Uh, a bunch of people that were part of like horror genre games uh, got together and made Outlast. And uh, Mr. Resident Evil himself got together with a new studio and made Evil Within. So what this is, is uh, people from Metal Gear Solid, Fear, Halo, and something else that I can't remember, but basically a bunch of people got together and said, hey, you know what we want to do? We want to make a really cool stealth action game. Uh, we're going to go ahead and delete this because that was just a test. This game looks pretty as hell, though. I haven't seen anything yet. And it runs in the Unity engine. Unity's a good engine. No, it's not. I mean, I suppose it is in theory, but it's made for, like, slender tubbies and and dumb shit like that. Mm. N y nothing? Nothing. I, I don't play that many games that are on Unity. I've only played, like, three games. That no amount Unity. of, like, surprise. No... <gasps> You mean that this awesome looking game was made using a shit-tastic Unity engine? I don't think Unity is that bad. Well, it... the point is, you wouldn't, you would not normally think that a game like this would be used, made using the Unity engine. You figure maybe they use the Unreal engine. That's usually pretty popular as far as engines go. But Unity is also free, so I suppose that helps them out. Yeah. All right. Now I can start my timer. <laughs> Cause, Good job. You know. Uh, something I learned after buying the game is that this is an episodic series. So we're going to start with episode one. When we finish episode one, we'll stop. And then we'll play episode two and three later. And hopefully, by the time we get to the end of episode three, episode four and five will be out. And then, you know, you'll be able to see the whole thing in this Let's Play as one see as one series all right let's jump in so the little bit of the intro of this game reminds me of the camera sequences in watchdogs hit the green button you're gonna get that yeah get the green button okay oh you're funny I need your help. I don't have much time. They want to erase me. They want to erase who I am. <gasps> They're coming. So, space pauses everything and it allows me to look for these kinds of points here where mm -hmm. I can switch from one camera to another. Who defaced the pages of this manifesto? This is a disaster. This is poison. Who fed you this poison? It was the librarian, wasn't it? That snake. How did nobody see these being distributed? Cooper, get us some water. 
Sovereign water from the commissary. Go! She's violent. Turn the camera on me? The hell you will. Not the defaced manifesto. Well, is it? Tell me, or I'll tell them. But you are them. I don't... I don't know what you're talking about. Child, where is it? Where's what? I did not call for please lock. Our computer scrubbed the word poison. I have to check it out. Pausing it here. So another thing cool that you can do, there's, there's a camera over here uh, that I will uh, switch over to in a second. But you notice underneath each person, there's a little uh, yellow tag. Oh, it's kind of like uh, their ID card and crap. Yep. So you can pause and read their ID. They have their identification. This is, looks like a passport. So from what I know of the game, this takes place in like a totalitarian state. But I, I don't know anything else beyond that. So you kind of go into this game with no information really, except that you're some person who's on the other end of a phone call uh, who hacked into this system. Hmm. How or why, they don't tell you. I think that's something that'll be like... Introduced later. It'll probably be like wrapped up later in the game, which will be really cool. But uh, the mentor... Uh, Jennifer Hale. It's an interesting that she would have an alias of Jennifer Hale, but well, if you look at her charges, well, I, I and that's the other thing: cyber theft and insubordination. Not even sure what that means. Uh, borderline disassociative identity disorder. The men, uh, you know, like no idea what this is supposed to all mean. But this is the one that interests me the most: the the Jennifer Hale. That's probably her, you know... Maybe like a different name that she had before. But everyone calls her Mirail or whatever. So that's the name she goes by. There's Derringer, uh, who's this guy right here, uh, mm -hmm. who's just talking to us right now. Uh, Carrie Payton. Uh, Andrew Quinn, Carrie Payton. Hmm. Uh, ooh. Was, is that the voice actor? I don't know. Maybe. That that would actually be kind of cool. That would be kind of cool. Uh, cardiac resynchronization therapy, CRT. I don't even know what that means. Uh, arrhythmia. Uh, and charges removed, which means... Fuck if I know what they are. CRT is, I think, another way of saying... Um, no, not CPR. Uh, no, never mind. Uh, selective mutism. Severe social anxiety. Uh, for Cooper and we can go over here and look at this camera uh, not sure what kind of vantage point that gives me but it's let's like that, I can handle this plecal myself look I need to know if someone's poisoning the food and water supply in this place Derringer again sounds I'm like cyborg from Teen it. Titans or it's just me it's yes, you idiot. possibly Poison. just you uh, do you have a phone that can do things um, yeah let me go grab it Oh. Carrie Payton. I know David Hader. David Hader is in this game. Carrie Payton, you said? Carrie Payton. K H A R Y. Sager is dead. But I guess we could dig him up and shoot him again. Anything else, Murray? What? That's not enough? The girl's infected. Found reading contraband. Third offense. We. Are taking I didn't to read anything. I will tell Derringer. You will put her in a confinement cell. There will be no recalibration without my authority. Fine. Just do it before the arrival. Can you pull up his name again? No, I think just... I got the wrong guy. Hold on. We're we're watching plot line. So recalibration obviously sounds like like brainwashing. And Derringer just said, Whoever make sure it's done before, and in, 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 like, caps, the arrival. Right. Oh, that... I don't want her freezing to death before tomorrow. That lady just looked right at us. Huh. 
Huh. That's the phone. Oh, yeah, that is her phone. Oh. Space bar. Oh. And then it switches to not locked at 60 FPS. Kind of weird. A little bit. Um, you've already mentioned, Don, you're, you're not, you don't really care. See, there's Jennifer Hale, which makes me think, yeah, I think Jennifer Hale is the name of the voice actress. Hmm. So that's Jennifer Hale who plays that lady. And Carrie Payton uh, played Derringer. Damn my big ass thumbs. A little, a little louder so the internet can hear you. The internet doesn't need to hear me on my fucking thumbs. Yeah, it does. The internet is really interested yep, in your thumbs. Yep, he, he is cyborg from Teen Titans. Oh, cool. That that is awesome. This is a really good voice actor. Well, Jennifer Hale, Carrie Payton, David Hayter, and one other person were highlighted in the Steam um, description of the game. As being voice actors. David Hayter, you obviously know who that is. Yeah. S solid Snake and whatnot. Did you know that Tara Strong was in Teen Titans? She's Raven. Yeah. I did not know that. Tara Strong has been a voice actress in just about every awesome thing I've ever watched. And some things I haven't watched that I don't honestly have any interest in anyway. Did you know that she was the big baby in Spirited Away? Uh, no, I did not know that either. Did you know uh, that she played Princess Clara in the short animated series Drawn to Gera? Yes. There's our can. There's our uh, opening. <laughs> there's our title card. <laughs> Episode one: Exordium, one a.m. It's a little plot heavy. Oh, that's fine. Plot heavy games just, are awesome. Just, just a bit plot heavy. But these games that are coming out like this, where... Cooper? Cooper? You. Me? You're still here. I guess, yeah. You have to help Space bar. Me. No, not There's yet. There's a camera. Don't hurt me. Not yet. She's Wait. talking to us. I can't space bar anyway. Supposed to. Oh, the Illuminati symbol's not in the top, uh, top right corner. Can you help what? Me get out of here? There, there's this weird triangle thing that appears in the top right corner when you're able to do things. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So she wants our help. How did she? Can you see me? You can see me in there. Yes, I can see you. Yeah. What's the difference? There's no way you can help me from there. Mmm, I believe you can. You're just another pair of eyes watching me. You spacebar, you might be able to, like, hack the door or something. Damn it, Don! Don't ruin the suspense! <laughs> Hell yeah, I did! Go on, little girl! Did you open the door? I totally did! I opened... I can... Wait. Where was that camera? Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know who you are or how you're doing this. But somehow you found a way into this place. Can you help me find a way out? I guess. Only one way to find out one. Alright, so it's telling me to click here. Let's go. I can tell her where to go. Right, it's a stealth game. Can I can I have her use the facilities? I don't think so. 
Oh, 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 I got, I got totally new things. I got new things I can do. Look at this. Inventory. I can, I can data. pickpocket. Uh, oh, look at me. Rena Strober, named Hope. Uh, no medical history, possession of contraband serial offender. Scheduled for recalibration. What are you looking at? I'm trying to look for the ISO game. What? Why? Hmm? Curiosity. You know what they say about curiosity. Yeah, I'll shove my foot up your ass. Oh, uh, we got an item down here. Can't seem to... Probably the passport. Uh, ooh, data. Look at all this data. Don, put your phone down already. No. What? Yeah, we're playing that game right no now! No shit, I'm showing you how it fucking looked on the ISO, you fat son of a bitch! Oh my god, it's Gameception! We're playing a game and a game and a game, and you're looking at a game and showing me the game while we're playing the game! <laughs> Nobody cares about that! I care! I'm curious! Find I Hope. I even heard it. Find Hope, she's right there. How? How would we not know where Hope is? In case she has to run, you have to go oh my, back and do a puzzle. Oh my good- what? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is, uh, this is all- it, this is- oh yeah, this is interesting. Alright. Oh, okay, I guess. I got battery power for some reason. Is that a- Oh, okay. I can- I can, uh, exit out that way. No, not so bad. space- so space is like my pause button. And it does seem to like automatically follow wherever I need her to go. Can't give her move orders without Uh yeah, I can't I can't give her a move order without unpausing, but I can give her the move order then pause it. Oh. Hello. Please do not be alarmed by the sound of my voice. Hmm? My name's Cooper. Cooper? It's the silent I am guy. I'm communicating with you in text to speech because it is too risky for me to use my real voice. Oh. I am the one who found <laughs> the phone in the girl's room just a moment That's ago. right. So it's that I guy. I turned the phone yeah. to her because she is in danger and I wish to help her. It seems you wish to help her too. I do not presume that you are as technically inclined as I am. Um, so I will skip the occupational lingo and get directly to the point. The phone she's carrying is a link, giving you access to our facility's online network. It is called OmniView. By entering OmniView, you can easily move from one camera to another. To keep the girl out of sight, you'll need to scout ahead for her. Yay! I'll explain as you go. <laughs> We're luck. getting. I'm sure you can <laughs> hack it in this place. <laughs> that was a joke. <laughs> Sometimes my humor gets lost in translation. I wonder why. We'll just. <clears throat> so this is called OmniView. Yes, this is OmniView. So her phone that she's carrying is what allows me to do this. Basically, just like the phone in, uh, I do not have a pin code. No, but I bet you if you use the camera up there. Ooh, oh, hello. So you unlock that so she can go in there. No, 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 I don't want her to go in there. I don't want, no. Just hit space bar and let it go back. St stay. Let's go over here. Who are you? This is an actual real life picture of a person. <laughs> uh, no, nothing. Scheduled for recalibration. 247G. Oh, that's prisoner number. Yeah. What? what? I figured they would have added his real name or something on what there. What do you mean? Two, what's 247G? Look under his picture. That's the character oh. name. Oh, that 247G. Okay. No, because people don't have identities in this world because it's a totalitarian state run by Obama. Arrival proceeds as planned. We will not 
be swayed by cowardly acts of terror. Stricter punishments for traitors urged. I heard the powers that be are secretly hoping for some kind of an attack to justify all these new security measures. And while they would prefer it to be bloodless, I suspect they'll take anything. Perhaps they'll even carry it out themselves to ensure it happens before the arrival. Hmm. In interesting. I, I cannot tell if this is like in support of the Republic, or if it's like treasonous uh, papers. Neat. Mm-hmm. Uh, Omniversion 5 required. Okay, so we've got pin codes. And upgrades. And, and, and key cards. Can you click on the purple now? The purple? This thing? Yeah. No. If I think that if there's anything that is like has any kind of like importance to click on it's going to have an icon like this uh. otherwise like there's any number of things i can i, I can place i can tell her to go like the eye i can tell her to hide in there oh that's what that's for <laughs> and we'll just leave her in there forever what's this A these eyes Use the cameras to see what's in the next room. Thank you for the Creepy. friendly reminder. <laughs> we got Sanchez, which is an actual picture of some guy named Sanchez. Jose Sanchez. Don Fubar. PTSD, borderline personality disorder, racketeering, impersonating a public official. Oh... What's this? Mm. What's this down here? I, it doesn't do anything, but... Oh, that might be uh, something in his pockets. Because the, the little side picture all the way to the right on the bottom looks like a pocket. Maybe. Yeah, that's a possibility. I wonder if I can use his PTSD and borderline... Ooh. I once spent some time stuffed in a locker. This may surprise you, but I wasn't very popular <laughs> in high school. Thank, thank you, Cooper. You, you win the award for most socially awkward. That's hilarious. Pre-cows hide I in the strangest places. Oh, no kidding. And I'm guessing pre-cows refers to someone who is scheduled for a recalibration. Ooh, what's this? Oh, I can lock it. Why would I... Why would I Prevent them from running away. Probably makes it easier for her to pickpocket things. It, might, it just might make things easier on her, and when she has to move around. Oh, here we go. Looks like one of my colleagues. Uh -huh, has uh -huh. the pin code it's the pin code out for everyone to see. I long for the days when basic common sense was a prerequisite for gainful employment. Nah. <laughs> so that looks like four three one eight to me. Looks like it to me too. Uh, I, I wonder. I wonder. Hold on. Data, no, that wouldn't be it. Uh, what about inventory? No, it doesn't seem to save anything. Oh. I, I wonder if I'm going to have to remember what is that? Looks like a phone. Yes, it is, but I don't have access to it. Oh. Oh. What? Why? Why did my power bar go down? It went down two pegs. Oh, get back to the door and use the pen. Alright, I'm not I'm not sure why I have a lack of battery power. Okay, all I had to do was click on it. Maybe using the Omniview is um is draining? For who? The ba the phone. Tell her to go towards the box. But there's nothing else in here. And I already got the thing in the box. Oh no, I didn't. I unlocked it. This what? is P Zero brand pepper spray. You can equip this for the girl in the bottom left corner of your screen. Each canister contains a single shot. It will temporarily disable guards, but be careful. Before long, they'll be back on patrol and angrier than ever. 
Mm hmm. Thanks, yes, Cooper. Alright. So she can pepper spray the guard. Yeah, so here's why I need to do it like this. I need to go over here. No, not there. Uh. I once spent. No. Oh, why? Oh! Because I don't. I don't. I. Oh! 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 I only have so much range. That's kind of cool. So she needs to be within some amount of range. Right, because Cooper did say that that's what gives you access to all the facility electronics. Now the question is... Yes, madam. Don't forget to give her the sodium thiopental injection. Yes, madam. Oh! Um! Oh! Press rack. Alright. Good thinking. Is it? I think it is. Give it a minute. All's quiet here. Hmm, there's an item. There's another pepper spray. Yeah, but I need to take a look at my surroundings first. I don't even have Omni version one, so I gotta get the one key. Oh. It's down at the bo uh, bottom right corner. Omni version half. Oh, I have the I have the beta. I'm beta testing. Ooh, what do we got here? Got him. Zega killed in firefight with Prizrak. The depravity of this man was boundless. Best to remove the comments section for the online edition, and change "shot dead by Prizrak" to "killed in firefight by Prizrak." This way, it suggests he was given a sporting chance. Okay. When the surveillance video of this day surfaces, and it will, it's going to require major surgery if they want it to look like justice. So that's Maddie, and Maddie must be the editor of the Morning Bell, which is like the Republic's newspaper. Mm-hmm. And she was talking about cosmetically enhancing the newspaper and the video footage. To probably uh, uh, probably make it look better for the Republic. Most likely, yes. Who we got here? Mil Milton. <laughs> we got Milton. Milton's Milton. Is it Milton of Milton's Milton's? Oh God, no more Milton. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Do you have any Milton's for sale? Uncle Milty. Milty. Uncle. Oh my gosh, the comedian Uncle Milty. Yeah, it's Uncle Milty. <laughs> It's milty. Oh, hey, oh. And yeah, this is stuff that you could pick. That, right that's now. definitely pepper spray, and I don't even know what that is. I don't. Even, but I don't even know how to pickpocket. It's right there. You you equipped it on her. Hold on, though. Find hope. Wait. I I want to try something. This is probably a bad idea, but we're. You pretty... Maybe you should figure out how to save. Um, select, pick, type, with nothing. Damn. There, there is none. Hmm. Okay, so here's here's the thing I want to try. Uh, let's go to here. Move her to the corner by the door. And I think that's a cue. Uh, uh, go. Other way. Okay, his back is to you. Yeah, but I, I want to wait. Because I don't... I think I want... I, I don't know how this works. And I don't want to take the chance of, you know... Fucking up. Yeah. I see when he turns around again, hit Q, and then tell her to pickpocket. Maybe. Oh, Q is just a switch. I think you just click him. Let's go for the steal. Got it. 
and then it's got a play button. What? Play what? I admit. It might be a document now, so. Hold Check on. The data? They won't find me. Oh, inventory? There. Bam. As a certified Kickstarter addict, my humble key resender is filled with enough size rolling Kitune games to fill a lifetime's worth of the Reagan era. Shovel Knight is one of the good ones, though. An 8 bit homage that marries old school platforming with cutting edge game design. I cry a little tear whenever I lose my hard earned gold after a clumsy mistake, and I love it. If 2014 had a baby with 1989, she'd look a whole lot like Shovel Knight. Bravo, That's game. beautiful. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Well, in the next episode, we'll have even more product placement. Until next time, leave a like or comment below, and as always, subscribe for more. Good night.